everyone welcome back to another video today's video topic is going to be about gels and um, styling gels I have often I have been often asked about um, what is holding my hair also what type of gel am I using and can I give them some advice on um, gels to buy to put in their hair all right um, this was asked back here in June I think July something like that but people are, are constantly asking me about um, what's holding my hair. Even when I go to church, what's holding your hair? What do you have in your hair? And some people think that I'm natural. Um, some women on here on YouTube think that I'm text lax. Um, but I am relaxed. I'm fully relaxed, okay? And unfortunately, ladies, I do not use gel in my hair, all right? So I cannot give you any advice on gels, okay? But I can show you for the last time what I'm using on my hair to keep my hair for the last, I mean, for the whole entire week, okay? Um, this is my my DIY, which is conditioner, water, four tablespoons of oil. I don't know the measurements of the water and conditioner, but the, the oil, it is exactly four tablespoons, and that's enough um, for my hair, okay? So all I do is just put this throughout my scalp and my hair, and then I follow behind with some oil, which I have to replenish. Look at that. <laughs> I have to replenish, so, and that's basically it, and this is what, right now I have this little cute scarf on, my hair is a week old, and I don't want to take it down, you guys already seen my hair a week old before, but I'm going to show the back of it, okay, so, this is the back of my hair, and it's a week old, and my bun is still in place, you know, so, that's it, alright, so, it does last, and it does keep me until I get ready to, you know, do whatever I have to do to my hair. Um, like I said, I cannot, you know, tell you which gel to use in your hair. You would probably have to ask someone that uses gel, um, you know, in their hair care regimen from time to time or every other day. I know someone that use it every day. I've seen a few people on here use it every day in their hair or they say they use it every day. So I would be hypocritical if I tell you um, to use something and I don't use it at all okay but I can tell you um, the experiences that I have seen um, from my family members using gel even on my grandkids but anyway I do know for a fact that gels they do have alcohol in them and they are drying to the hair at times they can also leave your hair a little hard that I have witnessed with my grandkids, I've touched their hair, and their hair just as hard as this table, you know, with waves in them, you know. And I would ask, why would you do that? You know, well, Mama, her hair, her hair is too soft. I said, girl, they have things out there, you know, to keep her hair up, you know, just put a scarf on it and call it a day. But anyway, like I said, my granddaughter's hair, our grandchildren, the do on the girl side, their hair is like a maybe a three C, and you know, it's kind of, it's not a thick consistency. It's not thick. You know, it's like more medium type of hair. It's more somewhat like that because my husband hair is like that too. And I, I buy grapeseed oil for his hair because he was using the olive oil and it was too heavy for his hair. It was like, you know, too oily for him. So I could, I can't use grapeseed, I mean, olive oil either. So, but Elizabeth hair, hers is a 4A. So that I do know is a 4A. So she can use olive oil. But um, I, I know that, it's drying to the hair and it is prone to breakage so you have to be careful and if you use too much of it on a daily basis or every every other day basis it will um, like fade away your natural hair color that I do and I have witnessed that too I've seen that and I, I thought that they put like a highlighter or something in their hair and and she did not so and that was from jail so you want to be careful do your research when it comes to using gels or if you're thinking about using a gel, do your research first before you go out and buy it. Okay, do your research first. And then I heard a lot about this one particular gel that has an ingredient in there that can, that can cause cancer and also birth defect. So you want to be careful, but you know, just read the ingredients, okay, because all things are not good 
when it comes to our health and also um, our bodies and hairs and things like that. That's why you should do your research and look up, look at these ingredients and find out what you're putting on your skin, you know, and in your hair. All right. So I hope and pray that this video help you. I really do. And, and I'm sorry. Once again, I couldn't give you any answers on which gels to go out and buy or anything of that sort. Um, just continue to do your research. If these videos are helping you guys, give me a thumbs up. This is my way of knowing that I am helping you with your hair. All right. And also don't forget to click that red button. All right. After the red button, you'll see a bell. I want you to click that bell and I want you to turn the notification on. You will see a shaded bell. Okay. All you have to do is just boop, just click it. And you'll see videos of me every single week. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. Okay. So thank you guys so much. And continue with your hair care. And if it's the Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. Thank you. God bless you. Mwah.